Probes. This Chatty Dad one here. I want to know something. What is it going to take for us as Americans to stand up and demand that we get back to the original Constitution? That we get our rights back? That the criminals that are in power yield their power that's been seized through corruption and illegal means. What is it going to take for us to stand up and say we've had enough as a people, as a nation, as a country, as human beings on this earth? We've been given one of the greatest countries on this earth. And we've also sat back and watched it being destroyed in front of our eyes. And we've allowed this to happen without a word. There's some of us who have stood up and tried to tell others and tried to do something about this. We've tried writing our congressmen, emailing our congressmen, talking to them, leaving phone me messages to our representatives. We've tried electing the people that we thought would bring the proper change. But we still have tyranny breaking down our door. We still have our freedoms being stripped from us every single day. Every day in the United States. What is it going to take? I really need to know. What's it going to take? TSA Viper teams are now on the lam. We're going to see this more and more and more in the future. This is what they think of every patriotic American. They're infiltrating our way of life. I want you to pay attention to something here in this picture. What do you see? military DHS Homeland Security TSA Viper team state troopers and I don't know what she is maybe a fed and then there's the good old probably the governor or a congressman of this state this is the joining militarization, militarization of the police force married with DHS and FEMA. Say goodbye to the little pawn shops. Say goodbye to the little firework stands. Save the pictures of what America used to be so we can tell these great stories to our children of how once we could roam the streets and walk up and down the streets without being demanded that we uh, show our identification and be pulled from our vehicles and searched. Why don't none of us stand up for our rights and say this is unconstitutional? This is unconstitutional. You have no right to do this. If we all stood up 
and did this, they couldn't proceed. They could not continue because we outnumber them. We outnumber them. But we act like scared rabbits. We don't do what it takes. Do you think it was easy for our forefathers? Now they're teaching police and FBI and CIA, the feds, that they are terrorists. Here again we see troopers, police, being militarized. Black Hawk helicopters, MP5 machine guns, M16s, trooper, right there. And what is he freaking carrying? War gear. That's what he's carrying. Instruments of war. War on who? Well, who do you think it is? So say goodbye to the fireworks. Say goodbye to the things you once knew. Because 1984, Minority Report, all these movies that we've watched about the future V is coming to pass right in front of our eyes. The New World Order is in full high gear. And they seem to be winning. Because we stand silent. Does Anonymous have to do everything? This group that's been linked back to the government itself in some ways? Does Occupy Wall Street movement have to do everything? Another group that's been linked back to the government? And been funneled money? Too, from George Soros and his cronies? Does this look like a peace officer to you? This looks like a friggin' terrorist to me. And that's exactly what they do, is spread terrorism. I want this to be a wake-up call to everyone who loves freedom loves your neighbors, loves your children and your family, loves this country and what it was founded on. Look at this. This guy's got an MP5 here. Yeah, I know it was a friggin' burglary or something that they had 50 cops at the SWAT team. But come on, is that kind of firepower necessary? These guys are walking up to arrest this man with his dog with two MP5s. Fully automatic weapons. Look at them. They're brandishing these weapons. Intimidating. You think this guy in this yard is going to say anything or do anything? No. No. What is it going to take, America? What is it going to take? Because they're not invading us all at once. They're doing this one person at a time. One home at a time. One day at a time. One hour at a time. 
they're doing this in a subtle fashion in a way that won't affect you until they're knocking on your door look at this you got a TSA officer standing there at the ticket line with the ticket lady Obama's sure providing plenty of jobs there for him but is this truly what we need in America the land of the free home of the brave something has happened something is terribly wrong with the land of the free and the home of the brave because many of us are not free anymore many of us are not brave anymore and these guys all look like skinheads to me Nazis with power, bloated with power and cruelty and rage. I know that I'm not popular with police for my videos, but I'm so disgusted with the tyranny that I see and what I see happening to us as a people, as a nation, as a country. Because people were in big trouble. You saw the last video that I showed you. We've heard about foreign troops being on American soil for years now they've been training them and still we sit on our hands and do nothing well that's got to stop that has got to stop we've got to share this information it's got to get out it may be too late but we got to try we got to try for our children. We got to try for our grandchildren. We got to try for ourselves. Because we can't let this happen. We can't let this happen. And it is happening as I speak. It may not be happening at my door, but it's happening somewhere here in the United States. It is happening. We cannot let this continue. Or we're not worthy to be called Americans. We're not worthy of our forefathers who bled and died to give us the freedom that we're now letting slip away and we're losing we're losing in a bad way we're losing the game for all of them get away from that TV Quit watching the football games and all these sports and basketball that don't mean jack. They mean nothing compared to the real deal of what's really going on. Because believe me, this stuff is for real. This is not a joke. It's not a game. And we're losing we're losing bad. This is the fourth quarter going into overtime. And we don't got much time left. So please, earn that right to be called a patriotic American. A freedom fighter. 
one of the brave, one of the free. I'd rather die free and brave than in chains and cowering. That's what they want. They want us all to be scared to death and be fearful, to not raise a finger or a hand to do anything to stop this tyranny. I want everybody to do what they can, to do all they can for freedom, for our children, family, grandchildren, for each other. Do our best. Do your best in everything you do. I love you, my brothers, my sisters. Let's get through this together. Let's not let our country go down like this without a fight. We're not even hardly given off a whimper. We can't let this go down like this. And if we do, shame on us. But I know there's plenty of us out there that are resistant and continue to do so. You're brave. You are free. You truly are. And you are the hope of our children and grandchildren. And examples to all of us. I hope everyone's well and preparing as much as possible. Never, never give up your guns. Your freedom, go right with them. The freedom that we have left. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. There's not much time left. God help us all, and God bless us all. God speed to us all. I pray for our nation. Please pray with me for our nation. We need prayers more now than any time. Because the Father is still there to help us. All we need to do is ask. This is Chatty Dad 1 and good luck to us all. Over.